Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what should be the final episode of the Civilization V Ottoman Petri Dish. Conquest would have caused this series to drag on so long that someone would have eventually won a science victory regardless, since there's so many other civilizations to conquer and they're spread out pretty far. I could have built a national treasury here. Oh well. We'll look forward to 1982. Or an aqueduct. And Abbey Theatre. Oh, so close, so close, so close. One more turn. Oh, I forgot to ask Washington for a peace agreement. Oh, he's declared war on Gandhi. Everyone hates Gandhi. Perhaps because they know he's going to become a nuclear superpower. That will leave the Petri dish an irradiated wasteland with super mutants and two-headed cows and all that good stuff. Imagine that. Fallout 3 in a Petri dish. Nacciate e torna la tua. Se na mana tu ti parla da cu. The release of atomic this. The great engineer. And a golden age has dawned on the eve of. Do it. There it is. I'm gonna win as soon as we press that button. But first, I'm going to have Istanbul build a nuclear plant. I'm going to have you build a giant death robot. Giant death robot. <laughs> Globalization. Workers have finished. And that's pretty much it. So now, with Chicago going, I'm going to ask Washington. I trust you are a friend to liberty. What do you want? No. What? Oh, you... Fine. The following trick. Fine. We'll end this at war. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally over. Finally over. Come on. Dun dun. Dun 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 You have conquered the mysteries of nature and led your people on a voyage to a brave new world. Indeed. Your triumph will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky. Yes, brave new world indeed. So we were ninth in population with Gandhi unsurprised. We were the worst. Wait, we were only ninth? Crop yield, we were only second only to the Inca. Manufactured goods, we were the first by far. Gross natural project behind the Inca again. Land behind the Inca again. Soldiers, worst. Approval, everyone was at 100, evidently. And literacy, I was best by far, as expected. And we were the level of Lich Walsia. He who puts out his hand to stop the wheel of history will have his fingers crushed. So let's have a look at the replay, shall we? Who, if anyone, was the mystery civilization? Edinburgh. Edip Hang on. No, wrong, sorry, wrong button. Wanted mess replay thing. The Ottomans. The Celts! The Celts were the mystery civilization. That's, that explains why Edinburgh was there the whole time. So they were on pretty much the same spot as the Danish, so they got conquered quickly. 
So let's have a look at this. How quickly did the Danish... Well, they spread fast. Is that a third city? No, just a... A gap in territory. So they lasted until turn... Past turn... They... L Come on. War must have stopped. Okay, they lost their capital just before turn 100 and then died after turn 105, I think. Either way, they have the Inca spreading like wildfire and I'm slowly spreading my borders. Polynesians are going everywhere. B clashing borders with the Siamese and the Indians. And there's America setting up Chicago. And then soon I'll go on a huge rampage and conquest the north as Polynesia declares war on me. I mo there we go. I burn them to the ground. I burn those two cities to the ground. Then I make my way down south to burn those three, four cities. Then I hit Chicago, burn it down a little while later. And boom! We're done. So, there you have it. That is the end of Civilization 5 Ottoman Petri Dish. For those of you who have been watching, I hope you sincerely enjoyed this series. And I also hope you will join me as I finally begin my journey towards a brave new world. AK, I'm going to play a game of Brave New World soon, so I hope you'll join me when I record that. See you next time, everyone.